Are you prepared for an engine failure after takeoff? Oh jeez, what was that? Turning back. That tower tried to off Alpha's on the turn back. Obstacle, obstacle, pull up. Yeah, this is not good. But we're not making the right way. We're not making the right way. We're testing multiple scenarios. I've been working with Luke for nearly 10 years. I thought it's safe to say I'm in for the craziest four minutes of my life so far. I'm gonna do my best to make that a true statement, yep. Soon after getting the RV-14 online, he helped push me to fly competitive aerobatics for the first time. Clear takeoff at Delta from 3-5, right turn to the hole, Charlie Gulf Alpha. I captured some great content at several events through the 2023 season. So there's going to be a whole lot of really cool episodes coming sharing that journey. For this one, we're focusing on a segment from one of the training flights with Luke preparing me for the competition flying. Before heading out to the practice area for aerobatics, we looked at engine failures after takeoff. It's critical for your pre-takeoff briefing to include how you'd react to a loss of power on climb out, and I took this opportunity to gather some specific data about when we could consider a turn back. Okay, so pre-takeoff briefing, canopies, lock turns are tight, and this will be your takeoff. We're gonna simulate the turn back, and we're just gonna do, what, the 800 foot? You wanna try that? That seemed like, or you wanna go right to 1,000 and uh, yeah. start there. The thousand we know is gonna be fine, so yeah, there's the 800 foot bugged. To set yourself up for success in a scenario like this, you need to brief the above sea level altitude that you're going to consider the turn back. Just saying a thousand feet AGL doesn't mean anything at a different airport where you don't have it in your head what the number is going to be on your altimeter. Yeah, so 600 plus 800. Okay. And then once the outcome is clear, I'll uh, do a go around and then why do we do a teardrop and then land and then pull right up to where we started. Try another one. Yep. Okay. And then did, did you want to take it overshoot and beyond? Um, for the next one? Or did you want to have me maneuver and land and how do you want me to do that? Yeah, just go ahead and do one. I'm kind of curious to see how you handle this airplane because I've never seen you actually fly it. Right. So it might fix anything I'm doing. I'm just always like watching people. Sure. Yeah, so it'll be yours. So I'll bug the runway, which I did. So you just bugged our turn back altitude. Yep. Flaps are up, flights are as required, feet of heat's off, fuel pump coming on. Power flap will be open, gonna lean this a bit. So just remember to go full rich on takeoff. Okay, so your controls. I got it. My control. And we can slip tower. So we're holding short at India. No backtrack required. Yep. Tower Charlie Gulf Alpha is holding short at India. Ready, no backtrack required. Talk short Charlie Gulf Alpha, wind tower at India, line up runway 25. Line up 25, Charlie Gulf Alpha. Charlie Gulf Alpha. I know uh, we mentioned uh, you're planning to essentially return back, and if you need to add power to uh, join the circuit to come back for 2-5, that's fine. Uh, but with the no traffic going on, if you do turn back towards the field and you want another runway, just let me know, and we'll be able to accommodate that. Yeah, I'm thinking on the goal, we'll do kind of like a teardrop maneuver out to the east a little bit, then reposition land and on 2-5, and then kind of stop exactly where we are now, and then repeat. Charlie Gulf Alpha Tower sounds good. The uh, heading on departure, your discretion, you can advise turning back towards the field. Wind 28010, gust 18, from India, clear takeoff, runway 25. Charlie, Gulf Alpha, thank you. Did you want to make that turn back call, so I don't have to yep. deal with that? Yep. All right, off we go. 1400. Do you want to simulate the startle factor when you pull the power back for a couple seconds, or? Yeah, I could yeah. do that, yeah, more realistic. So when you're doing the startle factor, I'll make the call, I'll just key the mic and say we're on the turn back. Okay. Okay, so she's rich. Your pump's on. I'm going to share these in real time as they played out. Any edits that you see are just to change angles, not to remove time. We'll do a more detailed analysis and debrief after we run through a couple of these scenarios. Life is good right now. I'm not the wiser. to go for the startle. Yep. yep. Right, 200 to go. Oh, geez, what was that? 
Tower Charlie okay, Alpha on is on the turn back. Charlie Golf Alpha Tower Roger, wind 26012, gust 18, quit land, runway 25. So you're just not loading it at all, right? Just a little bit, not much. Yeah. Awesome. Obstacle ahead. 500. Yeah, this is highly doable. Ramp up, off on Sophie West. And I'll just take it lower to make it fully realistic. But you got to make this maneuver to line up, right? Yes, I do. That's going to cost us altitude, but we're good. Yeah, it's just not a 180. It's a. Oh. How many degrees turn is that ultimately? Or that. Yep. Yeah, we're good. We'd be good. And Tower Charlie Golf Alpha is on the climb. Just going to reposition for 2-5 Charlie Golf Alpha. Charlie Golf Alpha, Tower Roger. Heading your discretion to come back ground. Good landing clearance still valid. Charlie Golf Alpha. Hey, I'm not going to go full bore on the go around. Yeah. So we only have 200 feet less for the next one? Yep. And that was with the startle. So, good. Good benchmark. And with a strong headwind. That's helping you get back, I guess, because it's pushing you back, right? Yeah, you haven't gone as far away from the airport, yeah, exactly. But that's not always a good thing, because if you end up crowding the airport, you could be too high. So really the takeaway there is to consider the geography around the airport. For instance, look at all those great fields. If we were departing this direction, we've got a lot of options straight ahead. But going off 2-5, we don't. Yeah, so you'll be able to stop it by India, actually, right? Oh, yeah. Wind check, 25015, gust 18. Thanks. You want me to tell them on this one, we'll just head out. Oh, we'll do the go around and go. Unless you want to do it one step lower. Right, you want to see one that doesn't work, I guess. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert, this next one isn't going to work, and I think Luke even cheated the startle factor a little bit. And we're actually making this harder on ourselves by starting at India because we're not even using all the runway. Yes, it's more realistic, I guess, to a typical... And again, part of the reason we chose to do it this way was because the amount of runway remaining from India is more realistic compared to the 9,000 feet we've got if we had the full length available. And it was a pleasure to watch Luke grease this landing. I used to put more focus on trying for three-point landing, but this airplane really does a nice tail-low wheeler, so I've applied some of Luke's techniques to go easy on the tailwheel and not always try to three-point it. You can wait on the runway as long as you need to advise when you are ready uh, for a takeoff from your current position. We're going to stop and then we're ready. Right. Charlie Golf Alpha, Roger. Tons good. Okay, same benchmark position. Yep, flaps are up. I'll be still on. Hey, you bug 1200 feet? Yep. Okay, trim. You're going to let them know we're going? Yep. How we do it? Go ahead. Okay, Charlie Golf Alpha is ready to go. Charlie Golf Alpha, Tower Roger, command for the same thing. Heading your discretion, wind 260 at 14. From your current position, clear takeoff from way 25. Charlie Golf Alpha. Ready? Yep. I'm going to try a one foot takeoff. And look at my left foot. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Don't eat it. Right. <laughs> All right, back to the mission here. Life is good. Gauges are normal. Climb power. Yeah, 100 to go. Check. Oh geez, what was that? Turning back. That tower Charlie Golf Alpha is on the turn back. To the Golf Alpha Tower Roger, heading is your discretion. Wind 27013, gust to 18 now. Clear to land around wind 25. Tower Golf Alpha. Obstacle, obstacle, pull up. So this is a case where you might need the taxiway? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, that's good to know. But you could put it there on the taxiway. We'd likely go off the end, but yeah. I'd probably take the, yeah, this taxiway, yeah, there. Like make this turn now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'd be pretty easy to do. But we're not making the right way. Nope. We're not making the right way. Okay, well, there you go. So that's good to know. So I personally would definitely not try 600. <laughs> but even if I flew it a little sloppy, I might be able to do 800, eh? Yep. Okay. 
this was clearly a non-scientific experiment and there's a lot of nuance here like oftentimes people brief that in the event of an engine failure below such and such an altitude i will not consider anything other than what's 30 degrees off the nose but that densely populated residential subdivision off the departure end of runway 25 is a terrible option so blindly briefing that we'd not consider a turn back and pick something 30 degrees off the nose would be a disservice to the people that live there when the airport property behind us is a safer option albeit not ideal to knowingly plan to not make the runway but from 600 feet i could make the property so maybe my briefing would be that i wouldn't consider a turn back aiming for the runway below 800 feet but from 600 feet i'd consider the turn back for the property it's also worth noting you've got a much better shot at emergency services getting to you quickly on the airport property versus a muddy field surrounded by fences even if it's only a half mile away I wanted to just say we're, we're just going to leave. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think we know. And Tower, that was a good experiment for us. We are good to go and head east for a local east at this point. Jersey Golf Alpha Tower sounds good. The landing clearance is canceled. Then heading your discretion eastbound and not above 2,500 feet in the zone. Charlie Golf Alpha, thank you. No problem. Cool. That was good. Good yeah. experiment. Because I was blindly would brief like I don't know 750,000 was the number. Yeah. Now I know like oh, let's say 800 is my absolute no. And if I can avoid the startle factor, then I get a little tiny bit of a little bit extra, but not much. Not much. So you just put the nose down and you maintain 95. That's kind of what you did, I think. I, yeah, and I'm just not loading it up. You know, I'm focus on stick position. Very cognizant of that. Yeah. You know, I'm seeing the runway over there, and I'm like, I wish I was over there, but I cannot be. I don't have it. The wings don't have it. So I can't do that. So that's why, you know, the, run, the taxi wings were kind of opening up its possibilities because I knew the runway. Right. It's not reasonable. Oh. And it's yours one right here. Okay, I have the airplane. So that's obviously not good, but we can hit that way. I think I see a rain shower there. So do I uh, see how it's moving on here? Yeah, there's a heavier cell way out there. Definitely good there. This airplane has a built-in receiver to get SiriusXM weather data on board. It's absolutely changed the way I fly. Portable units are available for this data regardless of your avionics complexity. In this case, it's really cool to have access to the radar but also wind direction because we're trying to simulate what we're going to do as the box orientation is based on the wind. Just checking the wind. Yep. Is our official box direction? I don't have you on the surveillance equipment right now. I believe that's uh, an issue on our end. There's traffic six miles east of the field, eastbound RV14 at 2,600 feet. Come on, I'm at 225. Uh, is looking, but I do have him on board flight. Golf Alpha Oscar Tower, Roger, they are about the four miles south of the shoreline, should be no factor. I just saw it. Oh, there it again. That's weird. Charlie Golf Alpha Tower, that tower for use, an inbound Cessna 172 uh, westbound from Bell River along the east shoreline, 1,600 feet. No factor, your surveillance service has terminated change on radio frequency. Thanks, then we got that traffic in place, Charlie Golf Alpha. Perfect, thanks. Uh, all right, so we're cleared. I want to just get off this frequency so we don't have to hear them. Two, six, seven. Definitely looks great over there. Yeah, all that looks totally usable. Yeah. Alright, so we head up to like 35 or something? Yep. Let's do it. Turn off ESP. Forgot to do that with Ryan, it was pretty funny. Just just in his warm-up turns, he was already acro. So ESP took it back on. <laughs> but I didn't run my full checklist because I wasn't sure he was going to go right into it. But he, right, he just went right into it. His clearing turns were like 80 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, he's an enthusiastic fellow. Yeah, this is all open. So it was a challenging few days, but we did get some solid training done, and Luke set me up for fairly good success to score pretty well when I was competing. So I need all the power for the Edelman. Yes. And what was the other one? Anything where you're doing a pull and a roll after. So like so the last figure, you know, this one here. Yeah, the uh, half a Cuban. Or yes. Right? You'll need it here, here, and here. Are you here? Yeah. Okay. So I've got a lot of aerobatic content obviously coming to sprinkle in, but I'm also about to do some multi IFR training with Luke. And until the next one, keep your flight chop sharp. Hey Steve, so here's the airplane you're going to be flying next week for your multi IFR Technum P2016. Here's the other one on the ramp. We'll see you next week, bud.